garden. This is my first YouTube video, but I would like to show y'all my living wall. How I put it together and uh, what I'm growing. So come with me. All right. What I've done is made a vertical wall out of four PVC pipes. I'm sure some of y'all have seen some of these on other YouTube videos. Mine's just a little bit bigger and uh, very easy to make. The uh, whole thing cost me about $30. And uh, drunk a lot of juice to make the holder for the plants. And uh, pretty tasty. So let me show you all how we did it and uh, we'll go from there. What I've done is taken a juice jug, like so, marked it down three and a half inches. Cut the bottom out. Don't tell my wife I'm using her scissors. Basically, that's what I use to plant the plants in. And some people like to use the caps to uh, mount your, your jug to the wall. But since I'm using a, a pig wire, I just wire tie it with a zip tie. So if you want to use your caps, then you can screw it onto the wood to uh, hold your uh, planter to it. And also save the bottom part where you can start plants in. Very good idea. What I do to uh, the parts that I have the water in, I put it get one of my wife's socks. She doesn't know about it, so maybe she won't watch this video. Tie a knot is. Like so. The reason I'm doing that is because on my PVC pipe had a ball. I drilled holes in each one of these. What that does, if you can see it, the sock acts as a wick draws up the water that's inside the PVC pipe to keep your plants moist. So as I put this together, if you notice, I got a one by six cedar plank or fence plank. I used three inch drain pipe, three inch cap, three inch 90. And I went in and drilled six holes, spaced them out, so I can grow six plants on each row. I did that with a paddle bit and a drill, which I don't have out here right now to show you. So uh, I just use regular potting soil, or if you have a compost pile, which is really good, fill them up, put your seed in, insert them in the holes and uh, you're growing what you see right now is my cantaloupes and by the way it is right now it is march another march st patrick's day and i've already got balloons on my cantaloupes i'll be doing beans cantaloupes and cucumbers on this trellis which i call it the living wall but the, on the ends of the 90s I have a screen. I put a screen over it to uh, keep the mosquitoes from putting a little larvae in there and growing more mosquitoes because up here we have big Texas mosquitoes. And uh, I didn't know if I said it at the beginning, but we are in Texas. So, howdy, how are you? So, what I do after I've got all these filled up, I fill up this whole pipe full of water, each, each section. And uh, the water in there lasts about two and a half weeks for I have to refill it. But if you, I'm not sure if you can see it in the shot, but it keeps the uh, compost or the dirt very moist. The plants just really love it. Just to let y'all walk around the yard a little bit, I've got uh, other things growing like tomatoes. I grew all these in indoors first, brought them outside. <clears throat> different types of uh, big boy tomatoes, uh, blood tomatoes, you know, all the goodies. 
and uh, got some uh, peppers, jalapenos, cayenne. We like it hot here in Texas. I'm not sure if anybody's ever tried Russian kale before, but this stuff right here tastes a little bit like cabbage. Uh, it grows really good in the, in the fall and winter, and uh, you can cook it like uh, like you do greens, or you can eat it in a salad. Really tasty, I, I'm telling you. I'll eat something else, show you. Uh, of course, I got some carrots. And uh, through my wire and rake and hoe, got some cilantro, which is really good. Everybody loves cilantro. But, uh, but you can tell by the size of this Russian kale, it gets to be a pretty good size plant. So I might want to plant it somewhere off by itself. But I got it in my box planter, so I'm not really sure if I know anything else to say, but hopefully uh, I showed somebody a little bit how to do one of these. This whole project was very simple. It took me less than a day to put it together. And uh, maybe somebody will get inspired and want to do the same thing. So uh, just be watching for further videos and other projects that I do. And uh, I'll have a blessed day. Thank you.